Now let's start talking about where you're currently working. Let's first start with the fact, what is Motional? Can you tell us a little bit about the company? Yeah, sure. So uh, Motional is a joint venture of Hyundai and Aptiv. Uh, Hyundai, as we all know, it's a car manufacturing company and Aptiv, it's, they, they mostly write uh, softwares for automobile companies. So it's like Aptiv provides the brain of self-driving car and uh, Hyundai definitely gives all the hardware and the car itself. So it's both uh, Hyundai and Aptiv's joint venture to make self-driving cars. Company is uh, headquartered in Boston and I'm currently working from Boston office. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. So let's talk a little bit about how you got started with Motional. I know that you did an internship first before going full-time. Can you tell us about how you got that internship? The internship that I did at Motional was in a in a different team. So I did my internship in Components uh, Hardware Engineering team. Uh, so this team mostly uh, works with all the sensors that are being used in a self-driving car from LiDAR, radar, IMU, GNSS, all these sensors. They, they kind of test all these sensors and uh, kind of see like which uh, sensor they want to go with. They calibrate and do all sorts of things with everything that can be done in, uh, in terms of uh, preparing these sensors ready for the car. So this was the task of the team. And uh, so my interview was uh, in... I, I had two rounds of interview. First was, um, it was just like an initial call with the manager and just knowing about my background. And second was about uh, Python. They specifically asked me Python. And uh, also my knowledge uh, about self-driving cars and specifically sensors in general, what I knew about those. So yeah, that interview was pretty straightforward. And um, I joined uh, this team in... Yeah, in March, and I I worked till May, uh, till I graduated from WPI, and right after that, I I connected with my current team, which is robotics infrastructure, and uh, think I had about two interviews because I was a I was an intern. I did not go through the regular process. The regular uh, process is. I think you have about three rounds. First is again a coding challenge, and then you will have an, a, a virtual on-site round, which comprises of, I think, five to seven interviews. And then you would just have, uh, I think, like your final offer. But for me, it was just uh, two interviews. One, again, was the managerial round where he asked me all sorts of behavioral questions and also about my background. And um, second was purely C++ because this team works heavily with C++. So yeah, that, that was my journey with Motional. Nice. And you also had to kind of switch, right? You were initially in a team which was heavily Python and this one went all the yeah. way to C++. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's an interesting thing. I think this would also be interesting to know for people because uh, sometimes a lot of us think it's, you know, C++ or Python when it comes to robotics. I think at most point in your career in robotics, you will have to switch between the languages. Yeah. What do you think? Um, yeah, this is this is very true. I mean, from my experience, I can definitely say uh, there were a number of uh, courses which which were heavy on Python, like uh, computer vision, machine learning, or Python or uh, deep learning. And there were some courses which uh, required C plus plus specifically if you're working with ROS. So yeah, it's it's definitely required if you know both the languages. Yeah, it's a definite plus. So think about that as well. Yeah, now let's talk a little bit more about what your current team's role is. I know you said robotics infrastructure. Can you elaborate a little bit more? So uh, robotics infrastructure team, uh, it's it's a fairly new team at Motional. And uh, so what we do, we, we actually write libraries and also provide frameworks to other autonomy teams. Autonomy teams are uh, planning controls or perception teams. So we write libraries and frameworks for them to uh, kind of optimize and improve the performance of their algorithms. It's more like the C++ team that kind of writes libraries for optimizing the code of uh, entire entire AV stack. That's the idea of the team. We also uh, use GPU. All right, my last question to you is what advice would you give to those who are considering pursuing robotics? Yeah, the first thing I would say is there is no... Uh, like one way or right path to have a career in robotics because it, robotics comprises of like n number of uh, subfields. 
and people come from all sorts of technical backgrounds like i being an electrical engineer there are people who come from mechanical or from computer science so it's not like you you have to do this particular course to get into robotics it's you can come from any background and start second thing i would say is to keep exploring there are a number of courses available like on coursera there are a lot of um, introduction courses on edx and you can find resources uh, to get a kick start in robotics because it's it's necessary to understand how all these different components work individually and how they work when they are combined so i think it's a good way to just explore and just see what are the what different components are and also um, i would say get familiarized or i would say get fluent in uh, programming languages because i think it's essential uh, start with anything start with maybe python or c c++ but just i think uh, having good command on programming languages is very important to excel in robotics so i did wanted to ask you if you don't mind sharing were there any courses that you took that you found really helpful from any of the online platforms or even at your uh, college experience at wpi yeah for courses i think uh, i i can share about a very good uh, introductory course for c++ it's by sir stagnus uh, it's i think a a 10 uh, 10 lecture series of one hour each it's it's all available on youtube it's very good for uh, learning modern c++ so yeah i think that was a very good course that i took to just uh kick start my interview prep for uh, companies so yeah for c++ definitely that course and for i i do have some like courses for individual topics but nothing uh, in general but yeah there are courses like introduction to autonomous vehicles um introduction to self driving cars it's i think on udacity that's very good course you can learn everything from perception to motion planning to controls and how everything works together and they also have um amazing uh, pr- mini projects in all of these series so yeah that's also a good course yeah and thank you so much for sharing all of that advice and your experiences i'm pretty sure it'll help someone out there who's trying to start their career in robotics that's that's very true and and thank you so much for um, inviting me for this interview i i really hope someone finds it useful yeah absolutely